Hey TJ, my name is Shri Velikat, and today we're here with senior Ray Trainer to make Sufganiyot. So Ray, what are Sufganiyot? Sufganiyot are jelly donuts that are fried in oil and rolled in powdered sugar, and Jews like to eat them as part of Hanukkah celebrations. That sounds really good. Why don't we try making some? Let's do it. You're gonna need 380 grams or three cups and two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, 50 grams or a quarter cup of granulated sugar, one half teaspoon salt, two teaspoons instant yeast, a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, one cup milk, one egg, two tablespoons of melted butter, a half teaspoon of vanilla extract, some canola oil for frying, and your filling. You can use whatever jam you'd like. In the bowl of a stand mixer, combine your flour, sugar, salt, yeast, and nutmeg, and mix to combine. Then whisk together your milk and your egg, add your melted butter and vanilla extract, and pour that into your bowl full of dry ingredients. Using the dough hook attachment, mix that until a soft dough is formed, then set it aside to rest for five minutes. After the rest, continue kneading until the dough passes what I like to call the window pane test. Basically, when you hold it up to the light and stretch it really thin, it should be translucent. The dough will be extremely sticky, so you should have clean hands and a willingness to get them dirty. You can also knead by hand. It'll take a lot longer and be a lot messier, but it's fun if you want. Once your dough is ready, put it into a greased bowl, cover it, and set it aside to rise for anywhere from one and a half to two hours. You'll know your dough is ready once it's approximately doubled in size. Then turn out your dough onto a floured surface and roll it out to a quarter inch thickness. Use a two and a half to three inch cookie cutter to cut circles. Put it on a greased surface, cover it with some greased plastic wrap, and set it aside for about 30 to 45 minutes before you fry your donuts. So Ray, while we wait for the dough to rise, let's talk a little bit about sufganiyot. So you mentioned sufganiyot was fried in oil, and that's one of the biggest parts. Is this a common theme around Hanukkah? Oil is absolutely a common theme around Hanukkah. Oil is in fact the whole reason we have this holiday. In about 200 BCE, Syrians sacked Jerusalem and pillaged our holy temple and carried off all of the oil that the Jews had to keep the eternal flame alight. And that eternal flame is really important. It only had a day's worth of oil left. But the miracle of Hanukkah is that that oil burned on for eight days which was enough time for Jewish rebels to retake the city and relight the flame. For Hanukkah celebrations, especially here at TJ, is it a big thing at TJ? Are there a lot of Jewish people at TJ who like celebrating Hanukkah together? The Jewish community at TJ is more of a minority and we blend in. We wave to each other in the halls and say, see you at synagogue, but maybe there should be more Jewish community at TJ. And is it a common trend of the Jewish diaspora across the US that you know of? I think a lot of Jews just tend to blend into Christian communities. In fact, the reason that Hanukkah is such a major holiday in the U.S. is because of Christmas. And seeing as another religious holiday, does your synagogue celebrate it with the same vigor as some other holidays? The synagogue will have menorah lightings and have kids play games with each other and give out little sukhaniyot made from Krispy Kreme, <laughs> which is, I mean, obviously these are a little bit difficult to make, so. If you're serving a large number, like the temple was, then yeah, you can get them from Krispy Kreme. The important thing is that they're fried in oil. Again, Krispy Kreme does that. So, so why don't we go and fry these sukhaniyo in oil and then fill it with jelly ourselves? All right. Take out a frying pan, saucepan, or even a skillet and heat six cups of vegetable oil or canola oil to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees Celsius. The oil temperature is pretty important, so I would recommend using a thermometer here. Once your oils come to temperature, go ahead and start frying your donuts, one or two at a time, flipping on either side until dark golden brown. Transfer them to a landing pad, a plate covered with paper towels, so that they can drain the excess oil. Then it is time to roll your donuts in granulated sugar and fill them with your delicious raspberry jam. After you've rolled them and filled them, they should look fat and delicious and ready to eat. All right, shall we try one? Let's do it. Uh, I'm so excited. Same. Oh, wow. Mm. It's so chewy and puffy. It's really, really good. Oh my god. 
Ray, thank you so much for hosting us and letting us learn about Jewish culture and cuisine for Hanukkah with Suskanio. It's my pleasure. Krispy Kreme, eat your heart out.